Yeah, well, I, start, I, I started wearing shoulder pads as a when after having an AC, an AC injury in my shoulder as a as a kid. And when a school match, started wearing wearing the pads after that really, just because it gives you a little bit more confidence to go in that bit harder in the tackles and that sort of stuff. And also rugby, and in rugby it's a physical game and kind of injuries are inevitable, but if you can do whatever you can to try and prevent that, you'll be on the field more. And as a professional, that's kind of, that's what we're trying to do all the time, is be as, as fit as we can, as often as we can, and try not to be injured. Yeah, there's a real, real good ergonomic design to stop restriction of movement, as, as we, we talked about before. It's, and that is vitally important. You don't want to be in a situation where you're, the clothing you're wearing is restricting you and hampering your, your game. So you have to have stuff that really is designed for, for purpose. Yeah, certainly. I think the technology has really, really improved over the years. The, the stuff now is a lot lighter, a lot cooler, really, than it used to be in the old days. It's been the old days. It's a real issue playing during the end of the season again, when it's getting a bit warm. You really got very hot wearing the old style pads, but the, the new style pads with the new materials they've got in them, they really keep you a lot cooler. Yeah. And uh, do you find that rest restricts your movement at all? No, not at all, to be honest. That is something that there's no, no problem at all. And, and for me, actually, that's pretty important with the line outs. Yeah. I have to really better sort of reach up and stretch up behind me. And as yeah, you see, there's no restriction of movement there at all. The only thing is, I'm not very flexible, to be honest. That's what, that's what restricts me.